Hello everybody. Before we get started, I just want to tell you I did a contest last week and when I was looking at the videos, I actually announced that contest separate from all the regular videos and it only has like 22 views at this moment after like four days. So instead of putting that separate, I'm going to rerun this contest. You're going to notice as you're hearing to it that the dates um, end before the end of this week, but I'm rerunning this contest. There will I will choose a winner from the last contest, uh, but I'm rerunning, and so the dates on this are going to be um, you have until the 11th to actually enter this contest. Anytime up through the 11th. So when I wake up on the 12th. I'll be looking at names and figuring out who the winner of this contest is. So on to the contest. Hello everybody, this is Amista. I am just coming to you today because I was thinking, gosh, it's been a long time since we've had a contest on this channel and I think it's about time that we do something fun around here. I'm getting a little bit bored with just doing the weekly readings. We've got to add some jazz to this, okay? So we're going to have a contest. The prize for this contest, somebody is going to win one 50% off reading of their choice from me. And everybody else who participates in the contest will be offered a consolation prize. The consolation prize is a mystery. You will find out about that after you've already entered. So. You want to enter to um, be put in the drawing for the 50% off on the reading and then see what the mystery consolation prize is if you don't happen to win the 50% off. I think you'll still like that prize though. So anyway, let's see how long we want to run this contest through Sunday. So today is Wednesday the 31st of May, or 31st, so we're looking at... All right, through June the 4th. So when I wake up June the 5th, I'm going to know it's time to pick a 50% winner and notify everybody about how they stand. Okay, so before June the 5th. So anytime through June the 4th, you can enter this contest to win your half off reading with me. Um, let's see. How do you participate in the contest? That's the next question. So you guys, I'm sure you've heard me talking about my new online esoteric shop. I need to have visitors there. So of course that shop is going to be a part of this contest. So what we're going to do is we're going to have some fun. I want you all to go to my shop, which is www.secretsoftheuniverse.secretsoof, excuse me, t h e U N I V E R S E dot shop S H O P. So you're going to www.secretsoftheuniverse dot shop. Type that in the address bar. That'll take you straight to my store. Once you're there, I want you to look around and tell me, figure out what is your favorite deck that I offer in the store. You are not ordering this deck. You are just telling me what is your favorite deck. Please do not place an order if you don't want to order. Just write down the name of your favorite deck. And then when you're looking at your deck, as you select it, I have some pictures from each deck on the website. So you can look at pictures of different cards there. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at those pictures of the cards and then tell me which out of the cards pictured there is your favorite card that I have of the deck that you can see on my website from your favorite deck. Okay, so you're going to my shop, you're finding your favorite deck, you're looking at all the pictures I have uploaded from that deck of cards, and you're telling me which card out of that deck is your favorite card. Okay, you're putting all of that information in an email and then you're sending that email to me at amista333 at yahoo.com. Looking forward to hearing from all of you. It's going to be interesting to see what you guys 
um, have as favorites, whether they're old traditionals or whether they're some of the new releases or somewhere in between. That should be a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to uh, doing a half price reading for whoever wins uh, on Monday, whenever I randomly choose the name or have a friend randomly choose the name. And looking forward to talking to you all and offering you the consolation prizes and seeing what comes out of that. So anybody, anyway, everybody, enjoy the rest of your week and this weekend. Um, for those of you who participate, we will be contact, contacting and talking to each other Monday or Tuesday. Peace out. Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of June 12th through the 18th. What we have coming up for you on Monday, Sagittarius, is the Three of Swords showing up in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse is telling me that you do have some emotional healing coming in on Monday. Someone else got this card the same day too, I think also Aries. So this is a card that typically is emotional healing. So this can be getting together with somebody who um, maybe you felt betrayed or hurt by and sort of putting all the cards on the table. And then once you guys understand where each other come from, then some healing can begin. This can also very much be very, very much. This can very much be a card of physical healing as well. So it may be that somebody in your sphere of influence around you or maybe even you yourself has had some kind of heart surgery and now you're recovering from it. Either way, it's a good card. Good card to have show up. Healing. Okay, so next card we have is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In this deck, my Wheel of Fortune in reverse means that there's some kind of physical ailment. You're not feeling like your top self. Usually it's a stomach thing. And I kind of feel like there is some kind of stomach thing. Maybe a lot of trips to the bathroom on Tuesday for some of you Sagittarians. I do feel like it's a quick to pass thing. We're talking about, you know, 12 hours, maybe even six hours. Uh, just, you know, for most of you, I feel like this is going to be light, Some, well, intense, but light, something like food poisoning that's over soon. Okay, um, let's look at Wednesday, Sagittarius. Here we have the Two of Swords showing up in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse means you have a decision to make on Wednesday and you're procrastinating on it as long as you can. You're trying to make a decision between either two different people or two different groups of people. You may have something like two job offers from two separate companies and you're trying to stall for time so that you can figure out which one you actually want to choose. So definitely there's some procrastination about this decision, but choosing something between a, two people or two groups of people. La -da -da. Looking at Thursday, Sagittarius, I haven't seen this card come up in a while. This is the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is my pity party card. So this just means, Sagittarius, that on Thursday you're going to feel like you really want to throw a nice big pity party, invite all the relatives, all the friends and family that you think will cry along with you. I would recommend that you don't, mostly because it's completely non-productive and you just end up feeling worse than when you started the pity party. So if you see that energy coming in, I would advise start thinking about things that make you happy instead. Shift your focus onto something positive. That would be the advice that comes through there. Um, but the way the energy sits right now, if you don't do something to change this, which free will can change anything, then I do see you throw in one whopping pity party on Thursday. All right, let's look at Friday. Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. This tells me you're feeling very pessimistic, either about a romantic relationship or romantic relationships in general or about people in general. All right, looking at Saturday, Two of Cups in reverse. Look at that. How do you like that? So here you're feeling pessimistic about people or relationships. All right, you're setting your vibration. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, for those of you who don't, I'm talking about Law of Attraction. You should check it out. Um, so you've got your vibration set on Friday. Be pessimistic about people or relationships. Guess what happens on Saturday? Two of Cups in reverse. There's somebody you're in a relationship with where things are getting hung up or stuck. You don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to agree on something. Hmm. 
Do you think setting the vibration on Friday had anything to do with the manifestation on Saturday? Just something to think about. All right, look at Sunday. Here we have the Knight of Coins in reverse. Knight of Coins in reverse just means that on Sunday, you are not paying too much attention to the budget. <laughs> so either you're not doing what it takes to bring the money in, or you are spending more than you're making, spending faster than it's coming in, and just thinking, oh, well, I'll fix it later. Okay, so that's what your what your week looks like, Scorpio. Thank you, or Scorpio, Sagittarius. I apologize. Scorpio was who I did last. Anyway, that is what your week looks like, Sagittarius. And remember, I'm only given like one little detail from every day. So obviously, these are not the only things going on in your week. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here for a Reiki session this week, some of you here for readings, and the rest of you, I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.